so uh, in this module i'll talk about retrieving data from multiple tables and for that purpose we will use a command which is called as the join command and uh, i will talk about different types of join commands and give a very overview brief overview about the join command in the next module i will talk about how those join commands are used on the database and using php we will retrieve the results obviously i will not go into a lot of details because it is the intro of the main modules which are going to follow now uh, you will be thinking that why do we need to join the tables right why we need to join the tables now what you might be thinking is that if we have to join the tables what was the purpose of separating the tables in the first place that is an open contradiction it will appear to you it's an open contradiction that is a good question that is a good observation if you recall in module number 10 i had spoke about the cardinality of the relationships that was the one to one relationship one to many and many to many and so on now if in real life there was only one to one relationship which is not the case because there are other relationships also then it would have been okay to have a single table but that is not the case that is not the case that is why when we have one to many relationships then we need to have multiple tables why because we have thousands of rows tens of thousands of rows transactions are taking place and if we don't divide the tables then there will be a lot of repetition of data and the size will increase and the performance will degrade because if there is duplication and i bring in data i am bringing in duplicate data that will uh, that is not an efficient way of using the bandwidth so that is why we separate the tables right now when we have to run the query i will give you the examples things will become clear to you we need to combine the tables that is called as a join and for that purpose we use the join command and how do we retrieve the tables uh, how do we retrieve the data from multiple tables by using the join command the join command runs on a column or multiple columns which are common to the tables being joined and they have the common value with kind of uh, acts like a reference to bring in what is required right and the results can be stored as a table uh, they can be viewed and uh, on the screen also and they can be processed also so what are the different types of joins there are four main types of joins which is the inner join which is the full outer join the left join the right join and there is something which is called as the self join also these things will become clear when i show it to you on the next slide in the form of venn diagrams So you can see over here that this is the inner join over here this is the inner join okay and this is the full join now the full join basically consist of all the records which matched on both the tables and the null values for unmatching records right so then so this full join is kind of a logical combination of the left table join and the right table join also right or not so it's a logical combination and usually in terms of performance this is the fastest this is the fastest okay inner join is the fastest right so this gives the best performance you i believe now you understand right so uh, in the next module i will talk about the details now uh, i have spoken about the trivial join right this is the then the full join also and this is something very interesting using sub selects now in prior to php 4.1 there was no there was no uh, sub selects the advantage of sub selects is that it runs the select command which is nested within another select command so i can have this select command running on two different tables so in the nested select command i will go into more details you get the results and those results are used as the keys in the outer select command to retrieve the data now it may look like a join also it can be implemented as a join also and in some cases it may give performance in terms of join which is better than the this sub selects right or not
तो दैट इज़ वन एप्लीकेशन डोमेन बट दैट वॉज नॉट देयर प्रायर टू पी एच पी फोर पॉइंट वन दिस अनदर थिंग ओवर हेयर विच इज़ द यूनियन यूनियन वॉज नॉट देयर प्रायर टू पी एच पी फोर बट दैन इट वॉज इंट्रोड्यूस्ड सो वॉट द यूनियन डज इज दैट इट वन बाय वन एज द रिजल्ट कम फ्राम डिफरेंट टेबल्स इट कैन वर्क ऑन दोज रिजल्ट सो इट प्रोवाइड्स अ यूनियन ऑफ द रिजल्ट सो वी हैव दोज फोर टाइप्स ऑफ जॉइंट्स एंड देन वी हैव द सब सेलेक्ट एंड द सब सेलेक्ट एज आई टोल्ड यू एक्ट्स एज और इट कैन बी रिप्लेसड बाय जॉइंट्स ऑल्सो एंड ऑफ कोर्स इन समरी द बेस्ट परफॉर्मेंस इज प्रोवाइडेड बाय द इनर जॉइंट एंड ऑफ कोर्स द आउटर जॉइन इज अ लॉजिकल कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ द लेफ्ट जॉइन एंड द राइट जॉइन एंड फाइनली we combine the tables because the data is dispersed across the tables and we have dispersed the data so as to save space and to give performance now very briefly very very briefly if you look into the concept of operating systems the data is fetched in the form of uh, frames and in the form of pages now try to understand if there is repetition of data the frame size is fixed or the page size is fixed then the data brought in with repetition will be less as compared to i bring in the data of the same page or the frame size which is non repeating it means that in fewer page faults i will bring in more data that will give good performance right or not you understand so using by by removing the duplicates without using additional hardware or processing power one can get better performance so that is the benefit of separating the tables but of course since the data is spread so if you look at only one table or or, or separately tables from other each other then it does not gives the complete picture that i will explain to you in the next module